David, your commercial relationship with Siva and Sona Nanotech, what's happening with that deal presently? Tracy, this is a deal that was announced last fall uh, between ourselves, Sona Nanotech, which is a, a manufacturer of, uh, of a uh, uniquely biocompatible gold nanorods, and Siva Therapeutics of the U.S. that is um, pursuing the development of a certain type of photothermal therapy for using gold nanorods for cancer treatment. Uh, so we're a strategic supplier to them. Um, that was announced uh, back in what, October? Uh, in the time since then, one of the first steps we've undertaken is to have batches of our gold nanorods sent to the nanotechnology characterization laboratory in the US, which was founded by the FDA and the Cancer Institute of the US, um, and from which Siva Therapeutics received a prestigious grant to do uh, work and analysis on, uh, on gold nanorods associated with their therapy. Uh, that's something, that's work that's ongoing, a vetting, if you will, of our materials and a characterization of our materials with a view to moving uh, both parties forward towards Siva's therapy uh, for, for cancer treatment. And of course, Sona Nanotech, has a nanotechnology that is specifically used in, in, in treatment, in facilitating the treatment of some of the top ranked cancer issues that we're dealing with. Or you want to start with what you're prioritizing presently. Sure. So Sona makes biocompatible gold nanorods. Historically, we've used them for the development of rapid tests. We've got a few prototypes uh, that are coming along nicely now, but the thrust going forward for the company is in using those gold nanorods for nanomedical applications. Siva is our first partner in that area. Their focus is on, um, on uh, heating tumors from the inside out using gold nanorods. And the first application will be for colorectal cancer. Uh, this is a cancer that's the second most mortal in the world. Uh, it's a prime candidate for this type of therapy because it can be accessed with the, the LED light source they use to, um, to heat the tumor and the, um, and the golden anorods from the inside out. And what is your update on your patent process uh, with your technology? Uh, great question. That's something that's coming along. I, uh, I regularly ask our, our patent council the same thing. And when I grow frustrated as to the, uh, the length of time it's taking, and she, uh, she does a great job in, um, in, um, in assuring me as to that this, this process does take a while and that we are tracking nicely uh, towards it. Um, obviously, it's um, the U.S. is the focus, but we're looking uh, to protect the patent, uh, the technology much more broadly than that. Um, you know, there's a process by which uh, the, the patent can, the application can be challenged from all quarters. And, uh, and we've received um, uh, many challenges on it and we've been able to overcome them all and continue moving. Uh, I don't have a target date for it, uh, but, uh, but uh, it is in the works and we will eventually get it. And of course, you understand setting up the foundation of a successful company. We've seen announcements over the last year for the addition of new team members. Would you like to talk about some of your board members and how they can help you achieve these goals in 2023 and moving forward? Sure, uh, Tracy. As a precursor to moving towards into the um, into the nanomedical area. Uh, we were fortunate to attract to our board um, uh, one of Vinod Kosla's uh, biotech CEOs, uh, Dr. Walter Straps, um, who's, uh, who leads a, uh, a Cas9 gene CRISPR uh, biotech company out of Boston. Uh, we were also able to attract uh, Mr. Neil Fraser, who's the longtime C uh, president of Medtronic Canada, uh, leading device uh, developer, manufacturer worldwide. Uh, I think it's a $30 billion company headquartered in Minneapolis. Um, obviously, 
Both of those backgrounds are extremely relevant to what it is we're doing now. We're also fortunate to have uh, other representation on the board uh, from Mark, uh, from, uh, Mark Levonin, who's a longtime CEO of Sanofi Pasteur, uh, as well as, uh, as a couple of other individuals with, uh, with venture, venture um, capital and fundraising experience and medical experience. So we feel we're really, really well endowed at the board level. And uh, that helped to set up the uh, the partnership with Siva and understanding of our our push into nano medical uh, applications. Uh, but as I say, as I've said previously, it's uh, it's not just Siva. There'll be other partners. There'll be other applications. Uh, this is the one. This is a bit of a beachhead partnership we formed with them. We think they've got. Uh, they'll have good momentum uh, going forward with this first application, and that the concept will spread from there and will be the provider of choice to developers of photothermal therapies for nanomedical purposes. Well, David, thank you so much for, for doing an interview and providing an update on Sona Nanotech. And for those of you interested in more information, please go to their website. David, thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Always happy to talk.